Aisha Galloway. I'm Peter. And we're here to break down a scene from our new film, A Bookcase Called Fate. So let's just get into it. You're watching Notes on a Screen. So we're going to be breaking down one of the critical scenes in the film. Um, Peter actually in the writing process like to call this a popcorn scene, but um, you'll my, see my why. Contribution. <laughs> you'll see why when we break it down. So I should tell me about this uh, first uh, first part of the scene that you've chosen. As you guys can see, like in the corner, there's just there's one light source that's really prominent, um, kind of shining in from the left over there. It's a little bit like a light bulb, and we kind of wanted to make it look a bit like, you know, like like a light bulb moment when people have an idea, because this is kind of the scene that sparks um, the big idea. And, well, it's um, it's really a transition point. It's a very critical moment. Now, actually, uh, Asher, I did want to ask you one question about mm -hmm. this scene. Uh, so, behind the characters, uh, a whole set of photographs from, mm -hmm. from, the, uh, from the their characters, lives. From, from their lives. From their lives. Uh, but there's one photograph missing. I'm really glad you asked that, Peter. That was another really big uh, thing that we were kind of... You know when you get to set and you kind of realise that there's an opportunity here and you need to take it. So this was one of those moments. There was a photograph hanging between these two characters that we'd seen in a previous um, previous scene in the film. Exactly. That was actually of the two characters together. Uh, we kind of thought that it would be interesting to see what would happen if we took away that photograph. But taking that photograph away, effectively unhooking them from the past. Taking I agree. That, that anchor away. Ah, uh, the green bowl. Ah, uh, yes, the green bowl. Mm. Being uh, green was a deliberate choice. We wanted to make uh, part a, a commentary on, of course, the um, uh, the environment, the, the, the environmental catastrophe that the world is facing. Yeah. We wanted to, to call that out, but it's a green plastic bowl, and by by doing that, we're underlining the um, the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. Thank you. Yeah. We went through many bowls we trying to find the right must, shade of green. They must have bought like about 20, 25 of those plastic bowls, all different shades. I know. We had to uh, throw them all out once we found this really specific green bowl. Well, it's lucky they're so cheap. This is a pivotal moment in the scene. It's when the dialogue starts. The way we wrote it, well, Peter was the main person who was coming up with this dialogue. We we wanted to create a scene with minimal dialogue to really highlight the subtext of the scene. That was really important to us. This was actually the hardest scene in the entire film to write. When writing response, it's really important to kind of think about how you as a normal person would respond in that situation. It's the conversation test, you know. But I think we went through like five drafts for this scene, trying to find the right response. It's this moment here when he accepts the popcorn that just gets me because it's like, You've got the the omission the, of the, the empty space. Of the omission of the frame. It's but right directly underneath it. It's just a new relationship forming. That's it from us. That's um. Please be sure to check out our new film. It's called The Bookcase Called Fate. And uh, and here's the scene. Thanks. Nice.